So hello everyone, my name is Michael Easy Breezy. It's time for Easy Breezy, right? It's time for the best open this season. It's time, of course, for Keep Your Hands of Asuken Episode 4 or um, Asuken Niva Tetsu Tasuna. Yeah, Episode 4, right? And uh, yeah, very good anime. One of the better anime for this season. Uh, you know, amazing animations, interesting. Uh, how say it? They are these are interesting. I wouldn't say this thing though. I feel the general plot isn't like wow. The plot is like every anime, anime, but each episode has an interesting take on it, right? And how they react and so on. And I'm you know I'm loving their characters and so on. Yeah, it's a cool anime. Anime. Let's start watching it. So three, two, one, and go. But yeah, definitely I think uh, one of the best anime this season. Uh, easily. Easy breezy. <laughs> He's waiting for the opening. Easy breezy. Na -na 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 -na. I'm just like preparing for the opening. Come on. Easy breezy. Get your own desk now. It's a little. Yeah, they're a little more professional now. Like they have their own, you know, a little. Yeah. Uh, actual. Uh, how say it? Equipment. Stuff. <laughs> they have. They don't look as poor anymore. Yeah. They don't look as like. Uh, you know, bottom, uh, yeah, they have a little more money and resource now, and that's the one where you, yeah, I love this. This reminds me so much of uh, Best Girl in New Game. She's always like, I have to trade with my sword to feeling, because I do that at the same time, <laughs> I'm that guy too, that's like, well, I have to, no, 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 no. stand with my, my hand boot in the office and be like, this feels right, this is how the character should fight, yeah. I'm always doing that. Too. That that is me. That is me. Um, yeah, always be doing that. Okay, so there's an explosion, a gun that shoots, and then it's like I don't know, a nuke, I guess. A lot of explosions. A car exploding. Very violent. <laughs> Very violent young girl. See, yeah. Here she is, the most violent one. <laughs> Soon as I see her, I'm like that's my best girl. As soon as I see her, like that. Yeah, Umaira! Yeah, like this is... Okay, they're back to the last fight there with the Metal Slug uh, tank and so on. Yeah. Maybe, at least back to that character this but... This is gonna be their main story, I guess. <laughs> I like how Daisy looks so happy. When, uh, <laughs> yeah, when, uh, exactly, she's gonna say that, exactly, she's gonna say that. They look so happy, she's like, screw you guys! <laughs> yeah. And one of them is, yeah, she looks a little different, yeah. But you know, she's the archetypical arc producer character, yeah, the mean one, that's like, you better work now, you're late, you're delayed, yeah, this is tomorrow, and yeah, three hours on you, and yeah, she's that character, it's like, I wanna make money here, you know, give me my stuff immediately, yeah, you have one day on you, and so on, yeah, the budget can't handle this stuff, right? yeah, that person, usually it's me, god damn it, usually it's me, I'm usually, I'm kinda like that, yeah, 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 money off, yeah, I manage a lot of productions like that, um, but I don't really do the screaming thing. I used to like I tell people once, and then it's, it's I'm mean, like, this is the timer. And then like that's it. <laughs> then I don't tell them again. Yeah, then I, I'm just like, if you don't follow me, I'm just gonna yeah. Then you're dead to me. I'm I'm, I'm more that strategy. Um, I'm not like a director. Uh, yeah, look at my camera work. I'm waiting for Easy Breeze. I'm, I'm telling you, I need my Easy Breeze. It's probably gonna start now when they have the camera here, yeah. I need my Easy Breeze. Here. Easy Breeze works. Yeah, the, the, almost, the, like, the camera is still gonna be Easy Breeze. I need my Easy Breeze to watch anime. I think I'm getting the mode where Easy Breeze. Easy Breeze. I mean, I need Easy Breeze to start. I can feel it. This is the anime I'm watching right there. Easy Breeze. The matter, the matter, the matter. Oh, it's like easily the best of the season. Easily the best opening. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many times I listen. I have this opening on loop every day, man. It's amazing. This opening and like uh, the new Black Clover opening, probably my number one, number two. I don't even care about all the openings. Yeah, that actually my number three is probably serious. The species viewer. <laughs> yeah. That is a catch opening, actually. It's not easy breezy, but it's catchy at least. It's catchy to like a certain degree. 
<laughs> it's not catchy on this level though. It's no, it's no easy breezy. No, nothing easy breezy. Like, this could be my favorite opening since Unigai Muscle, probably. Yeah, like since uh, uh, that being said, Unigai Muscle is by far the best opening in like 25 years of anime. So uh, <laughs> it's like that's the only reason why I have this team with Hibiki. No, but come on, Unigai Muscle and obviously Control are buffoons. Not having, yeah, it was ridiculous. Obviously, the, the dumbest thing they didn't have only get mask for it to crash. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised, but it's just like obviously stupid. Uh, but the Easy Breeze, I think, is the best opening since uh, Unigai Mask. I would say it's better than every opening last season. Uh, well, here we go. Here we go. Camera time. Yeah. Out of place, no. <laughs> See, it's, it's a lot of expl they love explosions. Yeah, the whole episode's like explosion. <laughs> this is exactly how this, the you know, animate stuff in real life. Your your whole brain, you see this stuff. You see the potential. You see the magnificence of it, right? Yeah. You see how it could become. Yeah. Come on. It's exactly how it is. It's exactly how it's when I when I do stuff as well. So I'm like, yeah. It's exactly how this stuff. It's too close, again, bad p yeah. Alienation is horrible. Smart a bit, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice, uh, <laughs> yeah, the gif is a thing here. Hmm, yeah. I always felt the wind is very important in anime. You need to have a lot of wind, yeah. People need to have their their hair and their clothes, you know, you know, like, yeah. That's what I think is missing in the real life. And I go around with my hair. If I have like you know my hair being like you know, constantly being like the yeah like behind me, that'd be like that would be really much cooler. Life would be so much better if I can if I constantly had uh, <laughs> cool badass. That would have been a cool superpower to have. Constantly badass, <laughs> dynamic <laughs> entrance so I constantly having like, yeah, I'm in the wind tunnel always. Yeah, it's like, where's my wind tunnel power? Kind of like a family game, Peter has his own uh, music playing when he does stuff, yeah. In the episode when he has like magical powers and he wishes for, if it's, it's, a genie, it's a genie and he wishes for, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> have a musical team playing every time something happens to him. <laughs> like a soundtrack. Yeah, like that's awesome. Come on. <laughs> yeah, foot down. You do this thing, you're the bottom for this thing. You've been doing the whole like, yes. Yeah, the hands behind your back thing. That's an evil walk, definitely. Yeah. She's eating or no? Okay, she's not. Uh, first of all, no. Okay, she's working too hard. Yeah. And then everyone is like, she's a kind of star, right? Yeah, everyone loves her. She's at the. Yeah. Yeah, she's bleeding. She's doing. <laughs> she does this like too much. Yeah. She does this thing way too much, right? That's why she has a lot of injury. Yeah, exactly. She flips her fingers way too much on the paper there. Uh, stop doing that. Yeah, it's like obsessed with the flippery. Now we're getting into details here, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> They're pushing it hard now, yeah, it's getting them. Tougher and tougher, yeah, more brutal every episode, or every, every minute, I mean. 
Oh yeah, I think uh, I know it now. It's clearly like an Apple laptop, but instead of an Apple, it's a heart, right? Yeah, it's a heart laptop, yeah. With like two of those instead, yeah. So one, the Apple thing, so the two. It even has kind of the Apple um, UI there, but yeah. Of course. Yeah, it's gonna be about her overcoming this hardship, I guess, this episode. Hmm. Yeah. Can I do it in time and so on? Hmm. We have to end with her <laughs> staring at the me <laughs> menacingly, yeah. You will do it, yeah, it's like... Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And at the close the door, you know, like, I slam it, yeah, you know what you want to do, yeah, it's like... Yeah, and digitalize this thing. Hmm. Oh man, this is me some nightmare. I remember when I was doing the art, not personally, but I was doing the art too, but not just, not just me. Me and the guy called Marcus, great guy called Marcus. And we were doing the art for a platform game that I did way back. And we had to make the sprites right, and we had to like, we sit in Adobe Flash, and we had to do like each frame and it took so long time uh, animating every damn sprite movement, so oh my god. It was horrible, it was horrible. Oh my god, I remember it now. I'm getting some flashbacks now when I was sitting there. <laughs> when I did my, that was my second platform game I did in my life. Uh, or at least like, you know, push, yeah, it was in C Sharp. My god. But doing that thing was so painful. Uh, every damn frame and so on, yeah, oh my god. It was horrible. Um, he was really good though, he was really good at it. Hmm, here we go, come on. More uh, <laughs> air here, yeah. Some kind of massive thing in the middle. I was like, what's the thing in the middle? Like a, like a mother frame thing? What's the thing in the middle? Like a super speeder, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's that? See, this is exactly how, how, how I work. Once, uh, that was two years ago. So we had this, we had this character with like Naginata in that game. So I recorded myself fighting with like Naginata and I sent it to everyone opposite. Like, this is how this character should fight. And I was like, and I was like, this is how you, you know, twist around like a boo and hand boo and so behind your back. And I was like, this is how you do it. Let me record it. Uh, look at my video here. Do this thing. <laughs> do like that. Yeah. This is how you fight. I was like, uh. no, but yeah, but I mean, it's good. It's good. Um. I usually done a lot of choreography for my own games, yeah, and so on for anime stuff. Um, now it's hardcore uh, production here in Sleep at Office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good morning. <laughs> And it's completely dead, yeah. <laughs> now it's hard work. Now it's crunch time, yeah. Now it's the crunch. Um, of course, I've been in a lot of crunch in my life, yeah. Never really bothered me that much, though. I mean, I, mean, I just keep working, yeah. I mean, I actually like crunch, to be honest. Like, basically. I just, that I have something to do all, all the time, yeah. And as long as you're paid for it, right? Uh, last year I worked for a company, they didn't pay for crunch time, so I was like, screw you guys, I'm going home, yeah. They didn't pay for crunch, they didn't pay for overtime, so I was like, I was gonna do it then. But everyone else did except me, that was a quick story, it's not a video, but everyone else did overtime except me, uh, for free. And I was like, I'm not gonna work overtime for free, you're insane, you had to pay me, you had to pay me higher than my usual salary, or I won't pay, I won't, well, I won't work, you can't afford to do it, um, you know. 
but they were asked they were completely cowardly and, uh, and so on they just you know followed for a line of course i was the manager for my department so it's easy for me to say nope i won't do it and i just left um so i had a little more say so to speak at the company but still though it was uh, as i told them if everyone said nope we won't work overtime or crunch unless you work unless you pay for it you know uh, unless they would have agreed with that yeah if everyone said no they, they would have to you know pay you I mean, so we're saying that right? if a company makes you work overtime for free, then it's something weird. Something that's different, right? Having you work overtime here for their own project, yeah. To make it succeed, right? Um, big difference, of course. Now it's all about how much time can you actually push out there. Uh, but for the same time, for that matter, right? uh, when I worked at the company, I told them that, well, if you can't pay me, if you don't have money anymore, give me, you know, uh, yeah, give me shares then. Yeah, give me shares then. P- give me like 5%, whatever, 10% of the company then. Yeah, then I will do it, yeah. Uh, either you pay it or you don't, right? Yeah. So if you, do, you can't pay someone, usually then you have to give them, you know, investment in the, into the company. Here they have their own in this stuff, right? They're owning it. It's their own stuff that they produce, right? Yeah. So obviously, if they work overtime, their own investment becomes more work, right? Very big difference. Uh, so it's a classic duo thing, yeah. yeah. Uh, so John or a Japanese company, especially in Kansai, you have, of course, everyone hates them, but I'm just saying, yeah. I like how it's like really had to have like these cops or SWAT teams to be like, nope, people really hate this shit. Really, they're prepared here with like an army. It's oh, a weird sound. Oh. Yeah, but I like how they have like prepared like this military. <laughs> yeah, they know how people get angry with this, <laughs> these things. She says to her very much like, yes, we're here, this is good, let's do it. Why do people keep fighting behind them though? Why are people still angry? I don't know, it's, it's weird. But obviously the movies, their, their movie is clearly, the anime is clearly gonna, you know, appease the, clou- the crowd, right? The people will be like, woo, yeah. People are clearly gonna be cheering for their uh, anime, clearly. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know why everyone's angry in the background now. It's very, very angry crowd there back then. Yeah, it's almost like a gif in the background, and you can't call it. You just keep showing the same thing, but yeah. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> this crowd of this crowd, yeah, they. Oh, they're gonna have like a rap battle first or something. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like, you know, may a mic drip. Yeah, it's like, can I physically get into these things? Yeah, I don't know. But man, not someone like woman is like cloudy top of the. What's weird with the crowd? Yeah. <laughs> you see? It's like, you know, mic, mic drop. It's time for her to be like, you know. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Should have dropped the mic there. Should be like, yeah, I got it. It's like a weird uh, kind of like a mic slash debate battle now. Yeah. See, she really wants to drop the mic. Come on, do the drop the mic. Come on. This school has a lot of problems, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like you show the damn anime. Here we go. Everyone is quiet now. This is the important speak here. Yeah, everyone's like, oh my god. Let's go. You're all idiots. Yeah, here we go. Fight them. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, she would hard for this. Emotional, uh, yeah, come on. Here we go. I mean, everyone in the crowd is like, man, she's, yeah, okay. Let's watch the anime, yeah. Let's watch some anime. But I wish she would drop the mic there, and she was like, eh, she even did like the <laughs> finger down thing, yeah, I was like, 
ah, that should have been like, you know, throwing into the ground instead. I guess they also made their own music, I suppose. But yeah, it's not colors here, they made their own, uh, you know, chromatic view, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah. And they also have like a wind tunnel or something. What? Or is it either the best anime ever? Everyone's like, oh my god, everyone's like feeling how how much wind it is. <laughs> yeah, the anime is that magical. <laughs> what is happening? So everyone can see the anime now. Yeah, or have a wind tunnel there. Nice. The sun. It's time for the fight the meta slighting, right? Yeah, the tank. Here we go. Yeah, it's time to get the uh, sword out. This post apocalyptic world, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're really like, okay, nice. Oh, yeah, the power vision of the tank there. <laughs> this would be a cool anime. I want this anime instead. Yeah, come on. <laughs> this is the. Then maybe actually want, yeah. It was so early here when he's running, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, how did that thing fall in here? But yeah, the anime is magical, so the, the, what's happening in the anime actually affects everyone around him. He's like, how does that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they have some magical anime powers, yeah. Should I maybe be afraid to watch the anime? We, we could, you could die, right? Yeah, like, suddenly it's like a fly at us. Yeah, it's like... Hmm, Sekiro instead. Yeah, I didn't know that would do nothing. Yeah, and everyone's like, shit, she's shooting at us! Yeah, they're killing us inside there. Yeah, it's like, it's like a dangerous uh, anime, definitely. <laughs> like this thing, are we gonna fly in, you know? It's luckily no one in the audience is dying, yeah. <laughs> Here we go, now it's just... <laughs> Here we go, it just runs into them. Here we go. Yeah, and it destroys that, like, the, the table there for those, you know, annoying, typical student council mean people, yeah. A classic, like, student council usually, you know, some bunch of meanies, yeah, usually that way. <laughs> okay, this is gonna fall down again. Uh, we her as well, yeah. So is the whole place gonna explode then? Because obviously the thing will fall down, right? The tank's not there. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna explode everything. <laughs> the end, yeah. They're like... <laughs> I like this guy's like, what? What's happening? <laughs> It was too real! We almost died, yeah! That was way too real. Luckily no one died from this thing. And they're like, yeah, pretty good. It went pretty good. Yeah, the crunch time was definitely worth it. It was okay, yeah, it's okay. Like a decent, uh, <laughs> decent quality from the anime, yeah. <laughs> we should do that thing last time. I like how they see, like, how they're second. And they're questioning their own work, and they're like, "Yeah, it could have been better." Yeah, that they are not satisfied. They are immediately trying to figure out how to improve it. Right, that's how you should, always should work. That's how you should live in your life if you want to be creative. It's horrible to be that when the same. I mean, horrible for your personal health, but it's, but it's good if you want to do good stuff, right? Because you keep always trying to improve stuff. Yeah, you're like, eh, maybe that thing should be red instead. Yeah, you're always trying to improve, right? Or eh, maybe that frame should be that. You could have, you know, cut off the cost and so on. Yeah, that's how you improve, right? Constantly. Never being happy what you do. Yeah, never be happy whatever you do, right? That's how you improve. Always try to be better. And you get a nice green stamp there, yes. Um, that anime is too real! The anime is too real! And the guy's like, what? <laughs> that was great. He's like, he's like getting his eyes there. What am I seeing? What's happening? Yeah. I was getting afraid for a, for a bit, yeah, like, will I get shot here? Will the bullet fly into me, right? Or the explosion, yeah. Na, 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 na. The ending is okay. It's no easy breezy, but yeah, the ending is okay, right? But it's, it's no it's no easy breezy, so it is what it is. I haven't seen the turtle yet, I believe. 
Den här Turtle Age Valley. But yeah, a lot of crunch time, a lot of crunch time. <laughs> it did remind me of when I worked at my uh, yeah one year back. That was ridiculous. That's what they want people to work for free. Well, everyone did. That was the worst part. Ever, everyone had media. Yeah, all all the employees they worked for free for I mean like a month or so. Crunch time, and I was like, Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was la I just laughed at them. I was very explicitly said, well, I could help you out if you could call me, which I before they did, so I had to work for time anyway. So I mean, I still helped them out because I have been. I'll be on Slack or if they were calling me and so on for asking me for advice so on, you know, on Saturdays, Sundays, anyway. So I still work regardless. But um, but mainly, I told them, I was like, well, if you want me to work, uh, you know, after clo after eight hours, you have to pay me, obviously, and I will take higher, I mean, yeah, and I will demand a higher, you know, salary, uh, of course, per minute when it's overtime, obviously. Uh, or as I told them very explicitly, or well, you know, gave me portion of the company, right? Yeah, so there's no weird that. And if you give me, you know, a portion of the company, uh, then obviously I will be much more invested, right? Because then I also own part of the company, uh, so that successful of the product is more interesting for me personally, right? Yeah. But of course they were too, you know, they were too uh, cheap for that, so they did do it. And the problem then was that, so I've seen crunch time a lot. For example, I went to Blizzard. We had crunch time almost every day when I worked there. This is British. We had crunch time all the time, but they paid very, very well. Instead, you had like almost twice the salary when you worked on Saturdays, Sundays, and you got food and so on. So it was great working there over time, uh, crunch time and so on. It was great. It was mainly it's overtime all the time, but it was great. Like you got, it was worth it. You were like, yeah, I want to work overtime, like, and, I, and I like working. I'm a guy like like working. So, so I don't even mind working seven. I, I could easily work seven days a week. I don't mind that for a second. I've done it a lot in my life. Uh, like two years ago, uh, I was working at two companies. So I was working uh, as a consultant in one company and doing the other companies. So I worked for like 60, 70 hours every week. Yeah, no problem at all. I like that. I like that, right? That's why I do this kind of streaming and so because I, I like I have something to do, right? Yeah. I just all have to do something. When I don't stream, I have to produce something, right? So anyway, but like I said shortly here, when I worked at that company, it was ridiculous because you weren't paying anything for overtime, whatever that. They were just giving you the. You know, uh, how say it? Uh, the emotional attack on you. They were like, you know, guilt tripping you. Yeah, guilt tripping you. That's what guilt tripping you. They were like, oh, but you know, it's our first game. We have to really, you know, succeed. Everything. Uh, don't you believe? Don't you like us? They were like, They're doing that stuff. So now I'm like, no, I don't like you. <laughs> and I was like, no, but I was like, I don't like you at all. No, I was like, I don't like you because you're trying to guilt trip me. And uh, that's not working me for a second. If you if you really want me to work overtime, yeah, I, I was like no, not at all. And the problem then was that everyone else for overtime, um, everyone else literally said me. So they were guilt tripping me extra. Like but everyone else is you know everyone else is supporting us. Everyone else is doing it. I was like yeah, everyone else is a moron. Yeah, this was an argument for me. And I always hate the argument for that matter. We don't have an actual argument right. It's like it's, a, it's, ad, it's an ad populous argument. We try to say that, but these ten people are disagreeing with you. It's like yes. 10 people that are wrong, yeah, that's not an argument, so that a lot of people think something is not an argument, right? The typical argument is like, you know, all Chinese people eat rice in China, people eat rice, ergo, a billion people at least likes rice, something, it's like, no, this means they eat rice, like, rice, I actually like rice, I was saying, <laughs> I mean, I eat rice, I don't eat rice now, actually, I don't cook rice after this thing, for the family, I don't, yeah, I'm not to cook rice now, but, I eat rice today with, um, with, uh, What's called sivachi, yes, yeah, sivachi. Rice with sivachi is on cooked today. Uh, but anyway, uh, but that argument, typical ad populist argument, right? You're, you're arguing for the popular crowd, right? Yeah, but a, a lot of billion Chinese people like rice, so it has to be good, right? It has to, it's clearly a good taste for it or whatever. That's not an argument, right? That's not an argument. It's like a lot of people do something. Um, so they did that all the time in the company. They were like guilt tripping you, trying to get me. But I don't feel guilt, right? I'm crazy. Yeah, I don't feel guilt, so it's, it's no problem for me. No, if anything, I do feel guilt. But it, but in that situation, I'm just like I, I'm even less likely to do it for you now. If you asked me and said you really need it, I'd be like maybe I will do it. I mean, it's one thing. I mean, say I did work over time here for free just the last few days before the release. Because then I'm like, okay, fine, like just release. Yeah. Like it makes sense, but I work, but they start doing that months ahead, you know, of the release. And I was like, I'm gonna do it now. I don't, I don't feel, but, but I'm doing it. My design department here, that's working, that's fine. We are not delayed. I'm actually ahead of your people. I'm way ahead of your people. I have to work more time, uh, and so on, right? And my scripts are great. So who cares? Yeah, my my code, my my technique, works fine. 
I don't need to do more than that. And um, I don't need to turn code and so on. You can, all, yeah, you can pay me, yeah. So and then people are, people are like, so that was, was a weird feeling for me, honestly, because I worked at a lot of companies again, uh, American companies like this and so on, where they have a lot of crunch time, right? But they pay you uh, usually quite well during crunch, and they're they're very like upfront with it. You have to figure out bad money, yeah. And it's like, yeah, okay, I'm fine with it, yeah, great money, okay, do it. But this company then, they were like, we have no money. They did have money, but they were cheap, right there. And they had money, they were cheap. And they were doing this whole like, you know, ah, oh, but don't you wanna support us? We are, we are all friends, you know. I'm not your friend, yeah. <laughs> I was like, not your friend. Like, I'm a less your friend. So I would say that that, that that thing for me never made any sense because I was like, I am less your friend now when you are. When I'm because it's very obvious for me that you are trying, you know, to make me help you uh, or help you help the company to work for free, right? Yeah. So you're trying to get me to do something I shouldn't do, yeah. And you kind of guilt trip me. So I like you even less now, right? Yeah. And I kept doing it. I was like, I even told them pretty early. It's like, like second time, I was like, why are you doing this to me? It won't work with me. It, was, it would never work with me. And each time you're telling me this thing, it works less on me than it did last, uh, <laughs> you know, than it, yeah, than it did last, than it did last week. Yeah, like, it's gonna work less and less. I was to be annoyed. I was to be, you're nagging me, trying to guilt trip me. I'm just gonna like, like you less every time you do it, right? So that is a horrible way to really, I think it's a horrible way to uh, control someone or trying to get some of the crunch time. You either have to pay them, or have to tell, or and this would be my agenda. This you have to, do, you should be much more direct. You just tell them that well, if it doesn't happen, we are gonna get bankrupt, right? Or you're gonna get fired, or whatever. You know. It should be illegal in that country, there, so you couldn't say that, right? But <laughs> yeah, to say something that you have to do or get fired would be illegal in that country. No, they didn't follow the law anyway, so that's not a story. But my point is that uh, you know, if you if you're much more direct like that, uh, that's a lot better, right? Or you could say that we should be, which would not be illegal. But say like, well, in next year, someone's going to be promoted and it probably won't be you if you don't, you know, support us. That is like a sneaky way to do it, right? But at least that's like a motivational way of saying that you will get rewarded for doing it. You will get the promotion. Or at least, but of course it's sneaky because it's like a promise. It's like, it's like a, you probably get the promotion, right? Yeah. Uh, of course, there was a problem in that company because we had five, you know, managers. I was one of the managers. I'm the, I'm the boss of the design manager. So it's like... You can't promote me <laughs> because I'm already at the top. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Either you, you know, I'm like, you can't really go up from where I am. So that was a problem too, I guess, for them then, because they're like, but you have to help out. You know, you could. We're gonna like you more then. I'm like, yeah, but you can't promote me. I'm already the design. <laughs> I'm already designing this shit. So you can't push me upwards either. Yeah, the only way to push me up is to give me, you know, parts of the firm. Right? Yeah, give me, you know, parts of the company. Yeah percentage uh, of the, you know, of owning the company. You can't give me higher, I mean, I guess you could give me higher salary though, but that would be, yeah. Would that, you know, give me higher salary next? They said that, well, you can't pay you now, but if you do this, we give you higher salary. There'll be like a delayed salary, like a delayed bonus, right? Yeah, we give you a bonus next year or we give you this thing. But that's still like a money, that's like a half empty promise for more money, I guess. But this is something, right? But but anyway, uh, crunch time then, very, very common. And this company then just went fully on crunch time, it's common, everyone knows that. I was like, yeah, but you're not paying me for it. You can force me to be here, so screw you guys, I'm going home, yeah. Kind of, that's kind of how I said it, you know, but in more diplomatic terms. Um, and the problem there then was that everyone else was so damn, either, well, most of them were very young, and they really fought for this. In this country, it's illegal to have crunch time in that country. Uh, without paying, so they really, so I was like, well, you, you can't force you. So I told everyone, you can't force you to work crunch time. You can't force you to work crunch time. You have to either pay you, uh, or you can just go home. You can, you can literally not force you, and you, and if they fire you for for not doing crunch time, you can sue them, right? You can easily sue them. Uh, so they can't do that. They can literally, legally, they can't do that. Uh, and you, they're not giving you anything. They're not even giving you like food. They're not even giving you. They're not even giving you like food or candy, whatever. Yeah, they didn't even do that. One night. They gave people food. That was the only time I worked crunch time way before uh, the, um, the, the release. Because so I promised to give people food. I was like, okay, I can take one hour to get food. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, well, fine. Then I can work one extra hour because you give me like a lunch. Okay, or a dinner. Okay, fine, do it then. But otherwise, no way, yeah. So, so anyway, long story short, but a problem at that company then, because crunch time was very common then the last few months there, the last half year. Uh, was that, that everyone except me, used, and I really mean ever except me, agreed on working for free. So, of course, the company is like, oh, well, we have free work, well, why would we give them anything else? Yeah. 
And even immediately from the beginning, people did that without asking for food and so on, right? Without asking for the stuff. And yes, they got food like maybe once twice when I wasn't there. But still, though, they should have been very much more demanding, saying this and this and this, we need this thing. If I work overtime this week, I want to get off on Friday, right? And so on. And they didn't even do that. Yeah, they didn't even give people like, if you work overtime on, let's say, uh, Saturday, Sunday, uh, week one, week two, you can skip Friday or something, or Thursday. So next week, you can, you know, skip uh, the other two days, or you can move around, flex out. They didn't even do, do that, yeah. They didn't even let people get like, one day off the next week, stuff like that. So it was ridiculous. And they had really bad flex hours for that matter, too. Like, you, could only, you couldn't come in early, and so I like to come in very early. Uh, so I was, I, was there the first, I was always there the first person I was there, almost every day for two years. Uh, more or less, almost, yeah, basically every day, like 95% of the days. But I wanted to come in even earlier, right? And they were like, no, you, yeah, I was like, yeah, I work, you know, but I still did everything. I worked much more. I worked eight, I worked 10 hours. Things that I worked all the time, I got home anyway, because I kept working, writing stuff, designing stuff, and I was home anyway. So I kept, you know, I, was, I worked easily 10 hours every day with that shitty job anyway, regardless. But, um, but what I was saying, well, the crunch time, the crunch time is interesting because either it's, it's very mandatory or it can be more in that kind of moralic, F, yeah, the weird point, like in here, this company. And it's so easy for people to say no. And if everyone say no, they either can't do it then, right? Or they have to say, well, we can't pay you. We can't give you a promise for higher salary or something like that. Yeah, well, you have to do that, right? Uh, but of course, no one else has the guts to play ball, right? Uh, or, you know, try to... Um, you know, play the game, and so they used to like, oh, well, if the, t tell me the crunch time is what we have to do, uh, and it was kind of weird. So we had one one person, um, she was from an older company, uh, quite newly hired for us, and she told us every day how much she hated the old company and how much she had crunch time there every day and so on. And then she went to this company, and we started having crunch time uh, after she'd been for half a year or so, or maybe five months or once. And she's like, okay, yeah, that's how it is, crunch time. And I was like, we can you say no, you know? <laughs> you said, no, yeah, come on. yeah, you hate it, you say no, then. It's, grow up, freaking, grow up, grow grow up and say no, uh, whatever. That's my weird experience of crunch time. So I, I worked at crunch time a lot, but uh, I, I was going to pay for it, except it's my latest uh, game. Yeah, we didn't get paid for it there, and I used to do it, of course. It was super... Super awkward, super cheap company, of course. And everyone is, is like, oh yeah, but that's how it is in industry. We just work there. I was like, no, it's not this. You, because, you know, because you have different kind of contracts, right? And that, that's the thing too. In the contract on that company, the contract literally said that you, you will never get paid for overtime. Uh, so blah, 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 in the contract, yeah. So they couldn't, they would never pay for the overtime. But at the same time, then it would be impossible then forever to fire you on similar uh, for not doing it, right? So it's all about voluntary. <laughs> so, and but the thing is, that I did it all the time though, because I worked over time a lot. Just generally, you know, more than eight hours every day, almost many days. I had to stay over uh, my normal work hours because people would be like, "Oh, this is the work. Please come help me. Oh, my, I broke the teeth." It's like, oh yeah. So I had, so I worked over time like at least one hour every day, basically for two weeks anyway. But. Uh, but I mean, my overtime was more like, you know, uh, yeah, more like every, you know, I'm gonna, fine, I can help you now, I, uh, I guess I'll take a phone call now at seven here, and yeah, like, it's more like that, yeah, so I would I, 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 like all the time, uh, constantly, you know, it's continuously over the whole, um, over the years, but I never agreed ever to be like, come in on Saturday, it's like, no, never, I will never, you know, like, you know, like, a, like a plan overtime, but I did overtime, constantly over time. All time. Also, one reason why I refuse absolutely to come in and work for free, then if I, because I'm already working more, too much for free, right? Yeah. But um, but that usually I get a lot of Slack calls and phone calls and so on and text messages uh, when I was home and it would be like, oh, this doesn't work, please help us. I'm like, well, if I don't help this person, he's gonna be stuck there until tomorrow. So either I help him now or he's gonna be sitting there doing nothing for like, five hours. So I guess I have to help him. That was a lot, it's not like that. So I did a very, very small crunch time <laughs> all the time, every damn day. So I was like, oh, I guess that happened now. Okay, send me the file, check it, check it out for you. Because uh, I know that the automatic will be stuck on it, right, for you, until I get it tomorrow, yeah, or maybe on Monday. So, so I was like, oh, I fixed that. But, um, but yeah, don't do crunch time, kids. Fight it, yeah. At least when you have the operation where it's like, where you can easily say no, and if everyone says no, it's kind of the same thing with salary thing. You should tell people what you have in salary, right? Because if everyone else would have a salary, you can agree on say, well, well, yeah, you can easily fight the company and so on. Don't be too afraid to fight your company, I guess. <laughs> That's one of my points too. But anyway, yeah, crunch time is something I have 
a lot of experience with, but usually it's much more fair. Usually you get paid uh, very well in crunch time. Honestly, I think so. But it's different what country you're in. I think in America it's better. Uh, when I work for American companies, in general, I think they're much more fair, honestly. It's more, you know, you have this, it's like, it's like you have to have crunch time, you can't say no, but here's a lot of money, do it. It's like, that to me is fair. Instead of we're in Europe, it's more like, you know, depending on what country Europe is, I think you generally, it's kind of like, you know, oh, can't you help out, please? We can't pay you, but we are best friends, right? And it's like, no, I'm not best friend, I hate you. Yeah, and it's, and it's more like, I love your friend. Yeah, if I'm your friend, why didn't you invite me to your wedding last week? It's, it's more like that. I actually had that in my, in my damn last job. There was a guy, he wasn't the boss though, but he had a wedding. He got married uh, while I was uh, while I was working there. And I didn't really like, care, but I was like, oh, I, mean, I don't even like him. I was like, oh, the guy is okay to me. He's like, I'm, I don't hate him, but I don't dislike him. He's like, I'm indifferent to him. Uh, but he didn't invite me to the wedding. He didn't invite most people to the wedding. I was saying it was, it was, not, <laughs> it was only me. Then I would hate him. I was like, what only me for? Yeah. No, he didn't invite. He only he only invited like two guys from the company to the wedding, uh, in in total. So I mean yeah, so barely anyone from the company. But that still tempts me right. That, well, you didn't invite me. You didn't invite this guy either. For that. I mean, I only didn't invite me or this guy or this guy or this guy. But still though, you didn't invite us. So we are clearly not friends. That's a problem right, when you invite people from. That's a problem definitely. If you have a wedding and if you invite only a few people from the company, because it tells everyone else that well, these two people are your friends. Uh, everyone else is your, you know, colleague, right? Nothing wrong with that, but it really tells you that's how it is, right? So if that guy was gonna be to be like, oh, everyone else is, you know, all three friends, help out. Like, you're not friends, F you, yeah. <laughs> you're not friends, you're proving to me you're not my friend, but then you would invite me to your personal life. You didn't, yeah, so we're clearly not friends. Uh, he was in Boston, not at all, the lowest freaking uh, rank guy. But still, he had, uh, I had to talk with him once, because he was working overtime all the time. He was crunching every damn day. Crunching, crunching, crunching. He was crunching it constantly. And uh, because he was like a new employee, his first job, and he was super afraid of getting fired, even, in, even illegally, but you know, whatever. He did not say the law, he, he was too afraid of that shit. So he worked overtime all the time in the estimate. Right? So once I told him, like, you can say no, you know, you can say no easily. I say no every time. He's like, how can you say no? Because like, I say no, yeah. Because I don't care. And it, but do not scare me, because I'm not freaking afraid of it. But anyway, so I was like, we had this but that's right. Because I felt. Word for him too, he, he did it too much. So I was like, man, you, you're working overtime all the time and you don't have to, and they're paying you nothing for it. So you're just gonna go, you're gonna hit the wall, you're gonna hit the wall right there. And he was like, oh, but you should help out instead. If you help out your friends, I'm like, a friend. Yes, yeah, so that means that like, you're not a friend. You really proved me to be, yeah. So that we had, so even though he wasn't like, he was still doing that, basically he was just like mantling their uh, sales point. Like, I was like, immediately like, you're not my friend, man. You didn't invite me to your wedding. You're my friend. Yeah, screw you. you know, but like, I was like, you're crazy. You got married like last month. You didn't invite me. You didn't invite those guys. So you clearly have a difference between friendship and colleagues here. Nothing wrong with that again. But don't don't try to use the friendship argument, right, against me as, uh, you know, some kind of uh, factor. Right? Obviously not. I mean, you clearly, evidently, we're not friends. So you can't use it for an argument. Yeah. Uh, but anyway... Um, I was worried for him. I was definitely worried for that guy and some other people that kept just doing whatever they wanted with them. They were like their slaves. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Uh, on the same time, then when he did that stupid pitch to me, I was like, well, actually, I was worried. Uh, now I'm just like, do whatever you want. <laughs> if you want to have a bad life, yeah, okay, I don't care about you anymore. Let's kind of be that too. Well, you're an idiot, so whatever then. <laughs> whatever then, yeah. Have your shitty issues then. <laughs> I suppose to some degree I was like, hmm, okay, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> I did still care a little bit, though, but almost I cared less though, man. But yeah, I've seen so many different crunch uh, issues in my life. Uh, but that company had one of the worst because they just didn't. The company ever before that. They had they didn't pay for crunch time. Instead, they gave you flex hours, uh, hundred percent for crunch time. So if you worked on a Saturday, let's say you did a whole Saturday, the next you then you got eight hours to say you know flex hours. That means then that means you could remove eight hours whenever you wanted. So you could be like, well, next week then I'm gonna take off on Friday, right? So I'm gonna take like so you work like uh, Monday to Saturday, week one, and week two you will work like uh, Monday to Thursday, right? You have like a three day weekend, yeah, and maybe go to some other country or you know something like that. So in that company, they didn't pay for your flex hours when you had them over time, but you could, eat, but you were allowed to like take one day off basically whenever you want, more or less, unless of course it was important next week to work. But generally, you could easily take off and so on. So for example, a lot of people work overtime uh, before Christmas. Then Christmas was like, well, you you know paid you know Christmas 
during the holidays, the days between uh, where she had to work or what, yeah, you know, you could just, so for example, I just took like five days out of Christmas then, right? Uh, like flex, flex out you know, a week of Christmas one, yeah. So that was great. I think that actually was very fair too. You could work over time and then you just change your next week. But yeah, one week, six week, next week, four week, uh, or like, you know, three weeks, six week, and then the next week you can take off like the whole week, or you could take off a Christmas week, or let's say it's Easter, so you have, um, yeah, so you have like three, three, four days off there. Because you know how this is in the system, right? When you have, let's say, in one week, you are free on like a bank holiday on like Monday, right? So you're free on Monday and Tuesday for one week for whatever holiday and so on. So, I mean, yeah, taking off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is great, right? Of course, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's great, right? So, if you put overtime over three days, right? The week before, or you can take off it, yeah. So, people did that. And that was, I think it was fair, too, right? It was pretty fair. I would honestly prefer to just get money instead, so I can work six days a week and just work. I don't get more money. I, I like money, so I would just, I would prefer to use work uh, overtime and get like, you know, work Saturday and Friday and so on, and just get more money. But still, though, I think that was pretty good, too. Um, that gave you some options, and you could also say no to your course uh, at that company um, because of that reason you could say no and so on as well. But I think that was fair, and I, 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 I said yes every time. And it was a period when I worked overtime like every day in November because the whole company was in shambles or one of the departments. So then, as I mentioned, then the Christmas I had, I had like two weeks of holiday. Uh, I could take off like two, you know ten days. I could take off. So I, I could easily be be free for like three four weeks and with all the different holiday stuff and so on, yeah. So I think that's fair, you know, I think that's really fair. Um, that to me works as well too. If anything, it's almost the most fair thing because it's just straight up minute per minute, yeah. Okay, you work overtime of one hour on Monday, it just means you have nine hours, it means you can have take a seven day if you want on Friday and so on, yeah, like it's one minute per minute. In one way, it's actually the most fair thing. You don't get more money and so on, but it's like straight up like, you know, you know, yeah, each divided, so. Um, anyway, that's my crunch time, some crunch time experience. Um, and but yeah, I've seen I've seen it all. I've seen it all. Mandatory, paid stuff, unpaid. People talking about it so much, how they get crazy from it. People going into the wall, you know, several times, right? So people like me, they just liked it. I mean, I don't this. I don't like like it, but I don't mind. I don't have to pay me. I can work overtime every day. You see me streaming, talking. Yeah, I can talk for hours. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't care about that. For me, it is better. I, I'd rather, honestly, I would rather have longer work days. Straight up, like I think working eight hours, I, I want to work twelve hours. If I could, I would. Yeah, I would work more hours on my company if I could. Yeah, uh, and different companies, I would work more. Yeah, I would work more. Yeah, I would be like, oh, I can work more hours. Awesome. Yeah, I was like six hour week, perfect. But whatever, that's my summer experience. Uh, you know, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow it's. Um, uh, I'm gonna talk with. I, I have to meet some people tomorrow. I have this weird stuff going tomorrow. <laughs> I have this meeting tomorrow, and I talked to this woman several times, and it's like a weird meeting, and then uh, and then I haven't read her mail actually after the day, because so I was like, yeah, Monday, blah, blah, blah. And then I read her mail, and I was like, but she's not even telling me the time here. And then she gave me this window of like 9 to 12 tomorrow. I was like, what? It was really confusing. I can... We can have the meeting. I was like, I, so I emailed her today. I was like, when is the meeting? So anyway, tomorrow we're probably just doing uh, Murunas uh, Gecko, yeah, the school and before the anime, because I like to do the all opening reaction on Mondays, but uh, given that thing is tomorrow, like someday tomorrow, that is annoying me a lot now. Because um, I was like, why didn't you? She just wrote the 27th, yeah, and then I was like, okay, fine. And then I didn't really care about it. So it's, it's, then I read the mail more carefully today. I was like, wait, she said like seven. To, yeah, it's like give me an interval of time. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. So when will I meet them? Yeah, when will they? When will they arrive? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so whatever. So yeah, tomorrow probably on Gaku end, but that thing will confuse me a lot. I feel that's gonna make me. I have to go and work earlier because of that. Or, I guess. Oh, it's weird. I, I was expecting when someone is like, let's have a meeting between seven this time frame. I mean, like, that's gonna just be probably, you know, stuff will be delayed, stuff will be this. I mean, it's imagining my Monday tomorrow is gonna be half ruined because of that. Because it's gonna be like, oh, this thing is supposed to now. I thought that this person I can't do now because they are here and they're here too early, too late. Yeah. Uh, I really hate it, right? I hate people that are late and I hate people that can't say exactly when they're gonna meet you or when they're gonna have a meeting or, or whatever it is, right? Yeah, I hate that. This is why I hate it. Um, Oh, I hate that. And I hate people that are like, 
can I call you tomorrow, please? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. And then they don't, and they don't like write the time. They're like, can I call you tomorrow? I'm like, yes. But I, I much better first. I was like, can I call you tomorrow at you know five? I'm like, yes, five works. Yeah, much rather have someone and say immediately say when can I call? Can I call you this thing? No, so when just give me time immediately. Or say like you know, can I call you between this and this? I said yes. To take four. Like yeah, okay. Can I call you between two to five tomorrow? Yes, that's two would be good or four. Whatever. Yeah. Not the whole like, can I call you tomorrow? Like yeah, you can probably when. So it's like then I say yes, and then then I might give them timers when they can call me right. But usually then I go back. Yeah. Then it's like several more steps. Always tell people immediately when you wanna do it. Like just try to make me exact as possible immediately. Uh, you know, give or give them like a set of times. Can we do it tomorrow at three, four, or seven? And you can be like seven. I want, yeah. Give them like a schedule. Give them kind of like a these thing. People too often I see you say, "Can we do it on Monday?" Like, yeah, Monday is good, probably. But you haven't told me when on Monday. They're like, eh, maybe like three, maybe three. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get me. So this, so I read that now today. It really eats me. Think about it. It really, it really bugs me when I read this now that. I talked to her like a set time, and then I read the mail. So I talked to her twice yesterday, uh, twice uh, this week on the phone. But yeah, and I read her mail now. I was like, wait, that's not what we said on the phone. On the phone said on the phone said ten, like a set time meeting ten. But now on the mail, she's like, can we meet between seven and ten? I'm like, that's not what we said at all. We said ten. Well, why do you want to meet me now? Yeah, well, <laughs> whatever, whatever. So whatever. My life issues. I hate this shit. I just hate this shit. But it's like. Just tell me a exact time, and absolutely, don't tell me something on the phone, right? And then write something else to me in the mail. Yeah. Because I tell you immediately, guys, since I have a lot of experience with people suing people and backs and stuff, I always record my phone stop people. Yeah, I, I, I record more or less, you know, everything I have on the phone, people. Right? Yeah, I always record it. Uh, so, uh, for several reasons. And, uh, and, I saw, and I saw someone that's very unhappy that I did that because they said something to be incredibly illegal. Actually, twice that happened to me. <laughs> but yeah, at least last year. It's something incredibly illegal. Then they, I was like, that is completely illegal. Yeah. And then I you know, wrote to them and blah, blah, blah. And then they wrote back to me. It's like, oh, we, we meant this thing. It's like, we well, that's not what you said at all. Oh, you have proof. I have it recorded. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. And then they were like, wait. I was like, but I have, you have what you told me you recorded. And what you're writing now, what you said is completely opposite. Uh, so whatever you're writing now, you're clearly lying. Or you're clearly you know, lying by, not even by admission, you're lying. Yeah. You clearly know with that sort of thing. I mean, the mail was much more like, oh, it meant this thing, and yeah. And I was like, well, I have co- I have recorded everything you said, so uh, yeah, sorry for that. <laughs> yeah, no, I threw up a secret here, but obviously, I always record every business, uh, you know, Skype or phone call or whatever I have, yeah, or Google, I had a Google call last week. I always record, always. Uh, no matter what it is, if someone's talking about a deal, a salary, a contract, whatever it is. I always have it on, you know, recording, so I know exactly what they said. And I can always say, you said you're gonna pay me this thing, or you said this thing, or you said you have this kind of contract or deal, right? So that is illegal, yeah. Once, a few years ago, I had someone that um, broke the law. Uh, this person last year also broke the law then, uh, but not as severely. So you can break the law, you know, at different scales, right? I had a person that broke the law Immensely, we're talking like uh, complete uh, economical, uh, yeah, like completely horribly breaking the law. So I, uh, so I just, so I recorded that, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna call the like the <laughs> economical <laughs> unit now. I, mean, I did, I did, yeah, and I did. I'm a rat, no, but I was like, man, this having this conversation is completely illegal. Like I can't even, like, no, I know this information. I have to report. It. Yeah, like that's illegal. But he's like. He was, the, I can't talk about it here, I can actually, it's not NDA thing, but basically, this is definitely another video one day I'll do in my life, but basically he was like, I wanna take this money here, he was basically explaining how he wanted to like ruin two other companies, but not paying them, and then pay his other company first, and he was like, if you do this thing, then you can bankrupt this company, or my company, not on my, but his company, he said mine, company on purpose, so I can't pay their money. He was like asking me how to do this stuff. He was explaining, he was explaining his like evil shenanigans to me. He was like, I was like, well, everything you're saying now is incredibly illegal. Yeah, and he was like, and he also asked like, if I wanted to be a part of it. Like, can you help me out? I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna be part of your crazy, stupid sh- shenanigan plan. It's like, it wasn't even a good plan. I was like, it's completely insider trade, everything, you know. I was like, man, this is like, I don't know how many illegal stuff you said to me now, but it's like, 
you said like seven crimes to me or something. You meet like seven crimes now in like a ter in like ten minutes. It's like one minute per crime. Your plan here. It was a horrible plan. Also, really, he's so stupid. But yet, but he, the worst thing is that he's both like a. I'll say he's definitely a criminal person. He works at like a big IT company. It's pretty funny too. But he's a definitely a criminal person. Uh, but also. Is also half stupidity. Like half of the stuff was like he's definitely doing on purpose, intentionally trying to ruin companies illegally and so on. Yeah. And at the same time, some of the stuff he's saying is clearly illegal, but I don't think he even knows that. Like, he's just an idiot. Like yeah, it's like a mix of being a, a, a bad person and also being a really stupid person. Yeah. Now the, so the plan was really stupid. I was like, man, this is like this is so many. But anyway, that's a very video. But that that but for, for, since that that was so over the phone. Uh, and I, I, I was recording it, and uh, since that I record all my uh, phones of people, <laughs> absolutely, because they never know who's gonna hear, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy I recorded this thing, because what he's saying right, right now, it is so damn illegal, but I'm saying I will absolutely have no point of this thing, absolutely, I will not take part of this thing, and I, of course I didn't, but I mean, I was very, very clear to him in the phone, you are wrong, I will never do this, he's trying to bribe me, he's trying to bribe me, yeah. He was trying to bribe me. I was like, I will not take a bribe. You know, F you. You are insane. And so on, right? I was very, very clear on that. Very, very clear. Like, yeah. And I even said, like, oh, you are bribing me. You tried to bribe me. I will not take your bribe. Yeah, I was very, very clear on that. So, of course, I have that record, right? How you tried to bribe me. So, I could prove that I'm innocent, right? And he could be. Yeah, so that was very good. So, you know, when you have that kind of life, I'm just telling you guys, record everything. Yeah, but no, but like, ah, that was, that was ridiculous. But he was, he was trying to bribe me. And then later on, he was trying to also give me money, right? You know, send me money. And I was like, I don't want your money. Yeah, and he was like trying to give me money. He, was, he, was, he owed me money from a contract. Then he wanted to give me like more money or he wanted to give me money on some other dates. So I was like, you have to give me the money you owe me on like 25th, it's like this is a contract you have to give me on the law. On the law. He's like, I can give you that money on the 5th instead, on the on 20 days before. I was like, well, I was like, yeah, if you want to, but it's matter for me. But maybe it's like no, yeah. So he was trying to like also bribe me on the time thing. It's like I can give you the money earlier. I was like, yeah, do that, but I won't be happy. I I, I would give you a favor because you're giving me the money you owe me anyway. And I don't know why he thought I'll care about that thing, but obviously, if you give me this, there's like a decently low sum of money. If you give me that sum of money, which you owe me legally, you owe me, yeah, not, not to bribe that sense. But one of his ideas was to bribe me by giving me to me earlier. I was like, that's not a bribe. It's like a horrible bribe. Because the money for me doesn't really matter, right? It's too little money. I have too much money on the bank to care about the money, right? So it's like, I don't even, like, why would I care getting it 20 days earlier? Like, I, you're going to give me that money regardless, yeah. For me, it makes very little investment sense if you give me 20 days earlier. Like, like a really bad bribe. So that was funny, too. First, that was one of his bribes. He wanted to give me the money, uh, more, and then it was more money. So but first, he wanted to give me the money earlier. I was like, that's a horrible bribe. Like, I don't even want the money earlier. It doesn't matter to me. So it's also a bad bribe. It was so stupid. He's trying to bribe me. And the bribe was like the dumbest thing ever, too. Yeah, the bribe was like, man, this isn't even a like good bribe. It's like, I don't even want this bribe. And then, he, of course, he proved the bribe. Like, you get double the money. So, but at the beginning, it's like, you get it faster. I was like, what? This isn't even a good bribe. I don't even want to be a part of your evil shenanigans on this shit. But anyway, yeah, I, I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that was the dumbest ever, and I'm trying to... Oh my god, so stupid. That person is incredibly stupid. I'm so happy I had it recorded. Uh, <laughs> I have three <laughs> telephones that he recorded. <laughs> I have two other ones that are also incredible. One of them is his business partner threatening me to kill me and so on. <laughs> yeah, I have that recorded too. I was like, these guys are so stupid. Like, thank you, I have it recorded. Oh my god. And I was laughing at him. This guy is like, he was going to go home to me and, and take care of it. And so and I was like, man, and, and you know, I'm a big Swedish guy, right? Yeah, I'm like, you know, six plus feet. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm big, you know, I'm big and fat. And, you know, and this guy was like tiny. He was like, maybe, I don't know, five, four. He was like, he was like at least uh, 20 centimeters shorter than me. And um, probably in his 50s, early 60s, like an old guy too, right? And I'm still pretty young. Right? I was like, what, you can to come home to me? And, fight me or like he was kill me on the phone to like, come home to me and do it i was like do you know that you're like half my size i was like what <laughs> so that was weird too that was super funny man one day i'm gonna take my long time and do a, a lot of videos about this stuff but that, that was super funny that was super that was, i just laughed i was like you're gonna come home i was like, come come now i was like come here now man come i was like yeah sure come over here i was like what what are you talking about it 
It was so ridiculous. That 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 is that was so funny. I'm just la- I'm still laughing at it. I mean, God, I'm laughing at it. I'm thinking about it. It was so funny. He was like, I will come home to you now and like you know, yeah, give you a good, you know. I was like, but you're like a tiny. I was like, you're like a dwarf. I was like, man, you're like nothing. And also, if you didn't know, I've been doing martial arts. Right? I've been doing martial arts uh, for like 20 years now, almost. Yeah, my whole life basically. I've been doing martial arts. Not saying I'm the best fighter in the world, but I've been competing in taekwondo, Thai boxing, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, right, uh, and so on, right. Uh, so I've, I've been fighting a lot in my life, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna lose to like a 60-year-old uh, old man. That's like tiny. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I mean, age and size isn't everything. But if you're like twice my age, you know, at that twice, I'm like 10, 20, but like 20 to 40, yeah, 60, yeah. Not in, the, in that sense. This was a few years ago, just like five years ago, yeah. So I was younger too. Um, I was young and he was a 60 back then, yeah. So I was like, man, you're at least twice my age and you're much, much tinier than me and I have much more experience than you still though, probably in, in martial arts, yeah. Much more. You wanna come home to me and fight me? It's like, what? It sounds so stupid, yeah. <laughs> it sounds it <was> so silly. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god, this video, this stream is so off topic now, but that was, that, that's even, that, that, but yeah, the crunching time for topic, the crunching time I know. Uh, I have a lot of experience with weird companies and crunch time and so on with game companies, all the com- art companies. Uh, but the order, the order come, that was the, the order thing was even weirder. Oh my god, this video is so tough now. This video is so tough, but that was even weirder. Oh my god, I was laughing at it. And he's like, kind of home, he's like, the whole thing there, the first two meetings, but the first two phone calls, and then the last one, he's, he's gonna, because I was like, um, the topic was that they, yeah, I mean, they refused to pay me money. Yeah, they, made, they owe me money. So I was like, yeah, pay me my money, right? Yeah. And I was like, just call him, like, you, you owe me this money. You know, just, yeah, or else I'm like, like, gonna sue you, right? Yeah, I was, I was like, I'm gonna sue you. It wasn't like I told him, or else I go to the cops. I already, I already went to the cops anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, I already reported them to uh, to the police for their general crime. So that she probably sailed. But I was like, I'm gonna sue you, you know, in, in court, right? Because of this contract, you brought the contract here. And they had like a million dollar contract too. It was really stupid. He wrote the old contract that if someone broke it, the old other partner, some kind of weird sum. Uh, so I was like, you broke your own contract, you owe me a million dollars now. So I was like, he was like, oh shit, that was stupid of me. He's like, yeah, you, you wrote it yourself in a really dumb way. So um, I told him that when I read the contract, like, why have you written this, this clause here? It's, it's stupid, yeah. Because... Anyways, he broke that. He owed me like a million dollars. But um, <laughs> that was so stupid. Oh my god, that guy is such an idiot. Uh, but anyway, so you know, called him like, I'm gonna sue you now. You pay me the money, or I'm suing you. Yeah, obviously. And then he was like, I'm gonna come and. And he was like, Well, you, if you before you sue me, I'm gonna come and kill you, basically. And I was like, uh, Okay, thank you for having me to record. And now I also have that as an evidence. It's like, you're not very, you're not very clever, man. <laughs> so, yeah, some people really shouldn't do the business. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's a long off-topic video now. See you guys uh, tomorrow with um, Gakuen and uh, Doro Doro Hedero. Gonna do Doro Hedero later tonight probably. Take the break. Eat some food and so on. Yeah, oh, yeah, food. Yeah, people waiting for the food. Yeah, so I shouldn't do this. See, see you guys. Uh, that's Doro Hedero.